morning to all. Today we are going to start our social science too. That means our geography. In this textbook, we have to learn 10 chapters. And the first chapter is what? The seasons and time. And this chapter includes two major topics. One is seasons and second one is time. These two topics are interconnected. How these two topics are interconnected? Based on the movement of earth. We learned two movements of earth. One is revolution, second one is rotation. The seasons are based on what? The revolution of the earth. And the time is calculating based on what? The rotation of earth. Okay. Uh, the first question of this chapter is what? What are the factors that are influencing the occurrence of various seasons on the earth's surface? When you check the textbook, you can see that our textbook is, uh, book is starting with a question. Why seasons? Okay, the first question is what? The first question of this chapter is, what are the factors that influencing the occurrence of various seasons on the earth's surface? And the answer is very simple. In our textbook, already given. The answer is already given. What, was the, what is the answer? The variations in the solar energy, the variations in the sunlight is the basic factor for the occurrence of various seasons. Then how these variations in sunlight is occurring? That we need to learn. The basic factor for the occurrence of various seasons is what? The variations in the sunlight. But we need to learn how these variations is happening or experiencing. To get that answer, we need to learn two more topics. One is the parallelism of earth axis and second one is what? The apparent movement of the sun. So we need to learn what is the parallelism of earth axis and what is the apparent movement of the sun. Parallelism of earth axis means the axis of earth is tilted 23 and a half degree from the vertical plane and 66 and a half degree from the orbital plane. This tilt is this tilt is known as what? <coughs> parallelism of earth axis. This tilt is known as parallelism of earth axis. Then we need to learn how this parallelism is influencing the variations of sunlight. To connect that point, we need to know, we need to learn one more thing. What is that? The apparent movement of the sun. What is the apparent movement of the sun? The apparent movement of the sun means, the earth is maintaining its parallelism. The earth is maintaining its parallelism throughout the revolution, throughout the revolution. Due to that, the sun is apparently shifting, the sun is apparently shifting in between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. That movement of sun is known as what? Apparent movement of the sun. That movement of sun is known as apparent movement of the sun. Due to the, due to the apparent movement of the sun, what is experiencing? The variations in sunlight is experiencing. Due to the variations in sunlight, what is experiencing? Different seasons are experiencing. So the answer is very simple. Three factors are influencing. One is parallelism of earth axis. Second one is a parallel movement of the sun. And third one is the variations in sunlight. This is our first question. What was the question? What are the factors that are influencing the occurrence of various seasons? Three factors are influencing. First is parallelism of earth axis. Second is apparent movement of the sun. Third is variations in sunlight. The variations in sunlight is the basic factor. What is the reason for the variations in sunlight? The apparent movement of the sun is the reason. What is the reason for the apparent movement of the sun? The parallelism of earth axis is the reason. Okay? Clear? So next, we need to learn the importance of 
four days. When you check the textbook, you can see the figure one point two. In that figure, you can see four dates: March twenty first, June twenty first, September twenty third, and December twenty second. That date is based on the revolution of F. So we need to know, learn the importance of these four days. Actually, we are learning these four days based on the apparent moment of the sun. We already learned the sun is apparently shifting in between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. That is why we are discussing the importance of these four days. First is the March twenty first. On March twenty first, see the sun is locating over the equator. That means the sun is locating in its, its actual position. So the both hemispheres, that means the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere, is receiving. Equal amount of sunlight. Equal amount of sunlight. So equal day and nights are experiencing in both hemispheres. This day is known as what? The equinoxes. That this day, day is known as equinoxes. So March twenty, the first day is March twenty first. On March twenty first, the sun is over equator. So both the means we are receiving equal amount of sunshine. So equal day and night are experiencing. So this day is known as equinoxes. Clear. Then after March twenty first, the sun is apparently moving towards towards the northern side. And reached over the tropic of Cancer. We already learned the sun is apparently shifting in between tropic of Cancer and tropic of Capricorn. So the sun is reached over the tropic of Cancer on June twenty first. So the position of sun is over the tropic of Cancer. On this day, the northern hemisphere is receiving more sunlight than the southern hemisphere. So the longest day is experiencing in northern hemisphere, and the longest night is experiencing in the southern hemisphere. This day is known as what? Summer solstice. This day is known as summer solstice. Then, after June twenty first, the sun is coming back to its original position, coming back to its original uh, positions on September twenty third. The sun is over equator. Again, sun is over the equator. Again, both hemispheres receiving equal amount of sunshine. Again, equal day and nights are experiencing. Again, that day is known as equinoxes. That day is known as equinoxes. And after the September twenty third, the sun is apparently shifting to. Southern side, apparently shifting to southern side, and reached over the tropic of Capricorn on December twenty second. On this day, the southern hemisphere is receiving more sunshine than the northern hemisphere. So the southern hemisphere, what is experiencing? The longest day is experiencing, but the northern hemisphere, what is experiencing? Longest to night is experiencing. So this day is known as the name of this day is what? Winter solstice. Winter solstice. So these are the four important days. One is March twenty first. The position of sun is over the equator. Equal day and night. The name is equinox. Second is June twenty first. Sun is over the topic of Cap uh, Cancer. Longest day in northern hemisphere. So this name is the day, the name of the day is what summer solstice. And next to September twenty third, the sun is over the equator. Equal days and nights. Again, the name is equinoxes. Then December twenty second, 
the sun is over the tropic of capricorn the longest night in other hemisphere so the day is winter solstice okay 